Some people like to modify their cars to increase performance and visual aesthetics. The cars showcased in today's video, however, are in a league of their own. Here are the top 15 most insane car mods. Number 15. The Upside Down Car Nowadays, most cars are made by a select few manufacturers, so it can begin to feel like every vehicle on the road looks nearly identical. Modifications are, of course, one of the best ways to make your ride stand out above the rest. And while most people choose to add neon lighting, body kits, large exhausts, and various other adaptations that make the car design look better, others go in the completely opposite direction. One type of mod that's been popular in the past few decades is a complete body overhaul that makes it look as if the car is completely upside down. Of course, the trick behind this is to hide the actual frame and wheels of the car within the new bodywork, and the resulting effect makes it look as if the car is sliding along the road on its roof. There are numerous examples of this, each of which looks just as bizarre as each other, and it's been done to trucks, road cars, and even racing cars that have taken part in events. Number 14. The Hum Rider Driving through the streets of a modern city can be a slow and frustrating affair, as it seems as if every turn you make just adds you to another long line of traffic. Owners have long dreamt of being able to drive or fly over the other vehicles, but there's a company that's designed an elegant solution to the problem. Known as the Hum Rider, the Jeep Grand Cherokee has been fitted with custom hydraulics on each wheel, which allows for the body of the car to rise up to 5 feet in the air. There's often enough clearance for you to simply drive over any other cars that may be in the way. To make this possible, it required the addition of an extra gasoline Honda generator to provide the power, along with 300 feet of hydraulic lines. It also needed severe reinforcement, so the final vehicle weighs a huge 8,500 pounds. The hydraulics can be engaged by pushing a button on the dashboard, and there's a screen that displays the imagery from the four cameras on the underside so the driver can see any obstacles in the way and ensure they're passing over them. Unsurprisingly, this isn't exactly a design that's going into mass production anytime soon mainly because it isn't legal to use it on the road, but it just goes to show what's possible with enough creativity and funding. Number 13. Pool Table Car The problem with traveling long distances by car is that you're limited with the home comforts that you're able to take with you. But some modifications avoid this problem altogether by fitting owners' favorite pastimes to their vehicle. The Pool Table Car was created by Joel Fisella from Triangle Billiards in California and began life as a 1998 Chevrolet Monte Carlo before being converted. Steel reinforcement was installed to support the weight of the table, while at the same time retaining all of the vital components to allow the car to still be driven. It wouldn't have been good enough to simply install the table on the bed of a truck because players wouldn't be able to access all of the angles they need, so this creation covers the entire space so crowds of people can gather around to watch the game unfold. Once a winner has been declared, the table slides towards the rear, the doors and windshield can be put back in place, and the car is ready to drive at speeds of up to 100 miles an hour. The pool table wasn't the only addition either. They also added a refrigerator, a pop-up LCD TV, an expensive sound system, and an automatic stabilization platform to ensure the table is always flat. With all this on a car, who needs a house anyway? Number 12. The Limo Jet Most car modifications involve adding new elements to the frame of a car, but this next one is a little bit different because it was the car parts that were added on last. A company called Jetsetter, which hires out private jets and limos to wealthy customers, saw that they were benefits provided by both types of vehicles, so decided to combine the two. Jets are designed to keep people in the utmost of comfort when they're in the sky and in many ways are better at the job than most limos. The company had a jet that was nearing the end of its service life, so they decided that instead of scrapping it, they'd turn it into the world's only limo jet. It was a project that began in 2006 and took 12 years to complete, but the effort was more than worth it. The vehicle, of course, no longer flew, but it's now road legal and is surely the coolest limo you could ever turn up at an event in. Serious effort has been put into converting the exterior to look like it has always been designed that way, with lights in the engines and custom-designed wheels. Everyone enters and exits the limo through the original stairs of the jet, and once you're inside, the party can really get started. There's a 4,500-watt stereo system, a lighting rig, a bar, and even a dance floor. But for those guests who want to sit and be entertained, there's also a huge TV screen and plenty of legroom. It's truly one of a kind, and since it's built from the fuselage of a multi-million dollar private jet, you're not going to see too many of these on the roads. Number 11. Wrought Iron Beetle 
VW Beetles are some of the most iconic cars in the world, but it's arguably the culture that surrounds them that's just as amazing as the vehicles themselves. In the 1960s, a Mexican artist called Rafael Esparza was working at an auto shop when the owner challenged him to make a wrought iron beetle to be used on the sign for the store. The resulting sculpture, which he created by making a rough beetle skeleton shape from iron and then adding swirls and patterns, soon attracted massive increase in the number of customers and became so famous that VW themselves commissioned him to make a further two for display at the Mexico City Olympic Games in 1968. More and more were ordered and shipped to VW dealerships around the world, and in total it's thought that he made 23 of them. At the time, none of these were actually functioning cars, but it didn't take long before enthusiasts began combining the sculptures with actual vehicles and were driving them in the streets. Since the originals, hobbyists and artists around the world have also begun to build their own versions from scratch, even to this day, and they remain one of the most artistic and insanely brilliant cars you'll ever find yourself driving next to. Number 10. Mercedes-Benz 300 TD Limo If you drove up behind the custom Mercedes-Benz 300 TD Limo in Florida, you'd be forgiven for thinking you've found the Ghostbusters car. But this isn't a vehicle designed for capturing ghosts and is, instead, the brainchild of Floridian resident Antti Rocco. Unlike other retirees, Rocco didn't spend life on golf courses or boats and instead got to work to create his ultimate ride. He began collecting chrome pieces in 1984, and it was only in the year 2000 that he was ready to start construction. He combined two Mercedes-Benz W123 station wagons, along with a 1962 Imperial front end, and put this all on top of a triaxle chassis with various other enhancements to ensure it could carry the overall weight. The resulting limo is 29 feet long and is powered by a turbo diesel engine, but it's undoubtedly the exterior that's most impressive. He used parts from more than 40 different cars, including 36 mirrors, 86 lamps, a range of turbine housings, wings, chrome bumpers, hubcaps, a continental kit, and even small parts of a space shuttle. The interior amenities also mean that a long journey is no problem in the vehicle, which he calls the Finjet, because it contains a microwave, freezer, a television, two air conditioning units, and amazingly, a fully functional sauna. Number 9. Phantom the Houston Art Car Parade challenges enthusiasts to put their unique mark on their vehicles and put them on display for the crowds. And while there have been numerous incredible designs over the years, the one that stands out is called Phantom. Created by W.T. Berg, it was inspired by the Bugatti Atlantic Coupe from the 1930s, after he was given an image of one by a friend. While the rear is more a traditional replica, the front and side of the car is covered with gargoyle heads, which have eerie blue glowing eyes that are created by diffused LED lighting on frosted glass. The monstrous vehicle weighs 1,900 pounds and is powered by a VW Type 3 four-cylinder engine. And while it's certainly a work of art, it's also completely street legal. And according to Berg, it has a top speed of 105 miles per hour, and it happily cruises around at 80 miles an hour. But the one main drawback is that it isn't completely waterproof. So if you drive it in the rain, you're likely to get wet. We're constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Bentley Tank Bentleys are known for their size and sturdiness, but for a group of Russian modders, this wasn't enough. They took a Bentley Continental GT and turned it into something not even the original designers could have imagined. A tank. Known as the Ultra Tank, the Bentley's wheels were removed and replaced with treads. The finished vehicle was able to tackle steep inclines and off-road driving, but when it was revealed, they admitted there were various drawbacks that they were still working to resolve. During hard cornering, the treads tend to slide off because there's not enough tension on them, and the powertrain only allows the vehicle to reach a speed of 31 miles per hour, something they're looking to double. Other issues are the lack of doors, so the interior gets messy when driving through dusty or wet environments, and somewhat worryingly, it doesn't currently have a functioning brake pedal. As a first attempt and proof of concept, however, it's surely a complete success, and what they've created is certainly the most comfortable, luxurious, and incredible-looking tank that the world has ever seen. Number 7. Horse-Drawn Hummer Hummers have a reputation for being the biggest gas-guzzling vehicles that money can buy, and while there are definitely occasions where they are invaluable, such as when they're used in war zones by the military, they've also become common sights driving around cities and being used to pick up groceries. And this is seen by many as a gross example of consumerism and excess. To highlight this, artist Jeremy Dean decided to convert an H2 that's fit for use in his vision of the future 
where fuel is in short supply due to the collapse of world trade and were forced to revert to older modes of transport. In his workshop in Florida, he removed the engine and placed two of the seats up front to create the world's first horse-drawn Hummer. To show it off, he took it to Central Park in New York, where horses are regularly seen pulling carriages that weigh as much as 1,800 pounds. This modified Hummer weighed just under 2,000 pounds, so it was well within the capabilities of the horses. After one circuit, he was told to stop because it wasn't licensed as a wagon. This was plenty of time to prove that the concept worked, though, and since most of the interior comforts of the Hummer were still inside, it was far more comfortable than traditional horse carts. If we ever do find ourselves needing to rely on horses for transport again, then perhaps adapting our cars like this is the best thing to do, instead of dusting off carts that don't even have any suspension. Number 6. Batmobile Limo If you grew up in the 90s, the chances are there was only ever one vehicle that you used to wish you'd own when you grew up, the Batmobile. Of course, those childhood dreams soon vanish in favor of more realistic goals, but one New Yorker stayed committed to the cause and set out to build a Batmobile of his own. Very little is known about the man behind it, but is often seen driving through the streets of the city where it's used as a private limo. Based on the version seen in the Tim Burton movies, it was built in 2012 at an estimated cost of around $4 million. The huge vehicle is powered by a V8 Corvette jet engine, so it's hardly going to be cheap to run, but the exterior is virtually completely faithful to the Batmobile that we're all familiar with. Quite what it's like on the inside isn't exactly clear, though we'd like to think he installed the gadgets and gizmos that the Dark Knight relies on too, and can release a slick or trigger a boost with just a flip of a switch. Number 5. 1956 LS3 Powered Beetle the Chances are that there's a VW Beetle in virtually every town and city of the world after being in production for more than 70 years. They're known for being reliable, cool, and fun to drive. And while versions have been produced over the years to take part in race events, they aren't exactly known for their speed. This, of course, hasn't deterred hot rodders from extracting the most they can from the cars, and Dan Troyer from Nebraska has surely got the fastest in the world. He took a 1956 Beetle and replaced the engine with an LS3 crate engine, which is backed up by a T56 six-speed transmission. After tuning the engine, it was able to generate 430 horsepower, which allowed it to reach a recorded top speed of 145 miles an hour. Troyer wasn't anywhere near done, though, and he's put the bug back on the rollers to make further changes such as replacing the factory cam with a bald eagle camshaft and installing an LSA supercharger. Initial tests show that it now generates 619 horsepower and 536 foot-pounds of torque, but it's not yet known how this translates into speed on the road. Number 4. 18,000 horsepower twin jet supercar Ferraris are the dream cars of so many people thanks to their looks and raw speed. It almost seems wrong to modify them in any way. But if you have an insatiable need for speed and don't think yours is fast enough, then the only option is to undertake some significant work to give it a boost. Ryan McQueen couldn't afford a Ferrari of his own, but even if he could, it wouldn't have been fast enough for him. He decided then to build one of his own, and this led him on a 14-year project, which cost $100,000 to create an absolute monster. Amazingly, McQueen says he learned everything that he needed to know by watching videos on YouTube. These taught him how to completely redesign the drivetrain and where the power comes from. He installed two Rolls-Royce Viper engines that were originally designed for experimental aircraft for the U.S. and British Air Forces and provided a combined 14,000 pounds of thrust and the equivalent to a whopping 18,000 horsepower. To create the look of the car, he took a radio-controlled scale model of a Ferrari Enzo and cut it into 26 pieces before using an overhead projector to increase their size tenfold. He then overlaid them on plywood, which was then cut and filled with styrofoam, and the bodywork was placed on top. Incredibly, the finished vehicle has a theoretical maximum speed of around 400 miles an hour, but not even McQueen has yet built up the courage to prove this in the real world. Engine tests in his garage when he was building it caused serious damage that he had to repair, so there's a risk that running it at full speed too soon will be catastrophic. Instead, the plans are to conduct some low-speed trials, once the vehicle has undergone extensive diagnostic tests to see how it performs, he hopes to one day unleash its full potential. Number 3. Hot Tub Cadillac Car manufacturers have, in most cases, gone to extreme lengths to ensure that passengers inside their vehicles are kept in luxurious comfort as they're traveling. But even in the most expensive of cars, this is rarely enough. At the end of a long journey, it can take a while for your body to recover which is why modders are continually looking for a way to make the ride far more pleasant. 
in 2014, a group of enthusiast friends from LA came up with an ingenious plan, and they worked together to convert a classic car into a fully functioning hot tub. They began with a 1969 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, which cost them just 800 bucks, and then got to work. Over the next six years, they installed a plywood frame inside the car, made the seals watertight, and fitted a fiberglass hot tub. The car's V8 engine can still be used to drive it, but it's also used to help maintain the perfect water temperature of 102 degrees Fahrenheit. With around 5,000 pounds of water when it's full, it doesn't exactly handle as well as it used to, and it had to be fitted with marine throttle so it would continue to run. Incredibly, this wasn't the first time that the friends converted a car to be a hot tub, and they had done the same thing when they were at a university, something that became the talking point of the campus. But after doing it once before, you may wonder why they did it again. The answer, according to them, was that they had their eye on breaking the world record for the fastest hot tub in the world. Their aim is to keep tweaking it until the car, still full of warm water, can reach a speed of more than 100 miles an hour, and launched a crowdfunding campaign to try to help them achieve that goal. Number 2. BMW 3 Transformer If you're planning to mod your car, you might have ideas of installing sound systems, lighting, and perhaps even extra motors so the vehicle can have further uses beyond being a mode of transport. But no matter what your plans are, it's unlikely they're anywhere near as insane as what a company from Turkey called Letvision has done. They dedicated 12 of their full-time engineers and four technicians to a project called Antimon for a year, and the results were astonishing. At first, it looks like any other BMW 3 Series, but at the flick of a switch, it reveals its hidden talent. Yes, this is the world's first actual transformer. In just 30 seconds, it can turn from a car into a standing robot. And while it isn't fully movable, it can move its arms, its fingers, and its head. Unsurprisingly, the car itself isn't actually legal to drive on the road, but can be driven on private land by remote control at a speed of up to 12 and a half miles an hour. To make the conversion possible, they had to gut virtually every element from within the car, disassemble it into pieces, then reassemble it with servos and motors that could rearrange the panels and reveal the head and other hidden components. This is just the first of 12 transformers that the company plans to build, and each one will have added functionality. To help fund their ongoing projects, Antimon was put up for sale for $600,000, which is surely a bargain for a sentient robot car. Number 1. The Kill Dozer While it's not technically a car, no conversion of insane mods would be complete without talking about the Kill Dozer. It was built by Marvin Hemeyer, who was from Granby, Colorado, and owned an automobile repair shop. He struggled to run his business, with constant interference by local authorities, and was driven to a boiling point and came up with a plan to get his revenge. Over a period of 18 months, he secretly built his grand design, starting with a Komatsu D355A bulldozer. He added armor plating over the cabin, the engine, and the tracks, which at some points was more than a foot thick. This made it virtually impervious to small arms fire and explosives and he fitted several cameras on the outside so he could see where he was steering. With no intention of ever leaving his creation once he entered, he also fashioned three ports that could be used to fire weapons through. And on June 4, 2004, he was ready. He drove the bulldozer through the building where his business used to be, and then continued through a concrete plant, the town hall, the office of the local newspaper that had written articles criticizing him, the house of the former mayor, a hardware store, and several other buildings. Despite attempts by authorities to block his path, the modifications had made his killdozer unstoppable, and he was able to continue driving wherever he wanted. In total, he caused $7 million of damage over 13 buildings during a two-hour-long rampage, and in the end, the vehicle became stuck in a basement, and he chose to end his own life. While the story behind his actions is sad and unjustifiable, there's no doubt that the killdozer remains one of the most insane modified vehicles to ever exist. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.